everybody, I am here with Tarot Tuesday, and today I'm talking about fairy themed decks, my favorite fairy themed decks. So we're in the Northern Hemisphere, we're in spring. Um, I like to tell people spring here in Winnipeg, in Canada, is not the same spring you see on Target ads and uh, American ads where it's green and there's flowers and things. It is brown, it is gray. There are no leaves. The grass is brown. There are tiny lumps of snow that are mostly dirt. Um, it is the ugliest time of year, April. April is ugly. So, although I'm still happy it's getting warmer out and that snow is going away and that um, soon, soon there will be flowers at some point. But anyway, spring makes me think about fairies, kind of that fairy type energy. And so I thought I would pull out some of my favorite fae themed typed decks. Now, um, I didn't pull out, there's a couple of others that are fairy themed I don't like as much. And I thought, you know what, I'm not going to put them in there. I think we've all seen the disastrous, um, not to pick on her, but Doreen Virtue fairy deck. Um, it just felt so slapped together. Um, so I'm not going to show you that one. I think we can, you can go Google it if you haven't already seen it, but I think we've all seen that disaster. Um, you know, and there's some others that are kind of eh about, but I'm going to show you my favorite ones because they're awesome and amazing. Now, some of them aren't technically, they're not billed as fairy decks, but I find them to have a lot of fae energy in them. So to me, they're fae decks and um, I'm going to treat them as such. So these are in no particular order. Um, but the first of all, I have to mention, of course, what I feel like are the best fairy decks, which is the Brian Froud. Um, this is the Fairy's Oracle, which was the first one that came out. I'm trying to get the ring light out there. Mm, there we go. That's better. No, nope, there it is. Mm -mm. There we go. Okay, so this is the book that came with the Fairy's Oracle. I don't have the box anymore. It was kind of a flimsy box that had the book and the um, deck in it. But the book is amazing. It's hardcover. It's thick and chunky. You've got, I think there's 60 some cards in the deck. And they each got like a lovely thumbnail here. You've got information about it. Um, you've got a starter reading as well as a reverse sort of meaning to it. The papers, the paper is just lovely. Uh, it's just a very good quality kind of book as well. I've had this deck since the 90s, like whenever it came out. Um, and I just love and adore this deck. I know there are some people who say they've had trouble working with this deck. Um, 2000, it came out in 2000, so that's when I got this. Um, so I've had this since I think university. Um, so I've had this quite a while and uh, it holds up for sure. It's, it's a wonderful, amazing deck. Of course, this artwork is absolutely stunning. And you know, I still, I use these decks all the time. Um, I usually pick a fairy card for the week. Um, and so I just love the stunning artwork in it. As I was saying, some people find that they have a hard time working with this deck. They'll lose it. They say that this deck likes you or it doesn't. So it apparently likes me, I guess. Um, I just think it's beautiful. I love too that there's, I just feel like there's a lot of depth going on. And I think this is probably the most accurate depiction of the way at least I think fairies and fae look like. Um, you know, my, my mother is English and um, she was brought up to, um, you know, they always said there's fairies at the bottom of the garden and you had to watch out for them. That they weren't just, you know, these lovely little, you know, gentle things that they had like sort of a wild energy to them. Not that they were evil either though, but just that they were part of nature. So I, I really love working with this deck. Um, I also have the second deck, uh, the Heart of Fairy Oracle which I think has about 60 in it as well. I love this deck too. I would say I don't like it quite as much as the original one, but I still really like it. So it's, it's like, if that's a 10, this is a nine, you know, it's pretty close. I do love the backs, I have to say. Like that's beautiful. And again, it's got like a really nice guide book with it as well. That's very much like the other one. Except I don't think it has reversed meanings. It just has upright. But again, you've got this gorgeous, gorgeous artwork going on. I love that it has like pixies and brownies and, um, you know, it's, it has like all different kinds of fairies in it, which I just love. And there's gnomes and it's just a really lovely, beautiful deck. So I think that these two, like if you're gonna, you know, if you're looking at getting a fairy deck, I would really strongly encourage you to get the, one of the Brian Froud decks just because they are gorgeous and beautiful. And I think that they're kind of the most, like I said, the closest to probably what I feel like fey energy is really like. Um, I do, you know, I just, I love working with them. 
Now I do have a couple of other uh, fairy decks. Um, these are Lucy Cavendish decks. Um, and so just putting some stuff around while I move stuff around. Um, the first one that I got is the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle. So I think this is in a different box now. This is in a softer kind of box. Um, this is Blue Angel, so it's like an older Blue Angel deck. Uh, what year is this? 2009. So this came out in 2009. I have had this one for a while. I really like using this one in the springtime as well. Well, I don't think the art is, you know, as close as the Brian Froud. It's still really, really lovely and gorgeous. Um, this one slides out of the box. You've got like a nice big chunky book here. Very, very nice. Well, Blue Angel, their books are always nice. And you've got, um, you know, you've got the thumbnail here. You've got information, divinatory meanings and reverse meanings. There's even like art like this in here. It's a, just a really beautiful book. I think it's well thought out, well written. Um, it's, it's a good, it's, I think it's a really good book. And then in here, you've got the in the inset. You've got the um, Blue Angel cards here. Um, they're nice and large, as Blue Angel card decks are. And the art is beautiful. Oh, that ring light. I love this ring light, but also like when I'm trying to show cards, it kind of gets in the way a little bit. Mm, trying to get it larger. There we go. Just, you know, like it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. The artwork is lovely. It's really nice. It's a very visually stunning deck as well. So I really love using it, um, you know, in reading as sort of like a, a wrap up card. And it's just, I think it's just got a really nice, lovely energy. It's a little more feminine than masculine, but you do have some men here. Very, very pretty. Just a very, very pretty kind of deck. So I do love working with that one as well. That's very much a spring type deck for me. Um, the next one is also by Lucy Cavendish as well. It is the Fairy Forest Oracle. This one came out after the Wild Wisdom one did. Um, it, it's in the more temporary boxes. I can't believe that one's 10 years old now. 2009, I just realized it's 2019. Because I thought, oh, that's just a few years old. No, it's 10 years old. Um, this is the Fairy Forest Oracle that came out a few years ago. Um, some people have said that they like the other one she did better, the Wild Wisdom. I think they're both good. This one's, you know, your typical kind of Blue Angel box. And... Um, the, I would say the book's not quite as chunky as the other one, but it's still, you know, it's, it's still quite solid. It's your typical blue angel type. Um, this one doesn't have as much information. You've got your thumbnail here and then you've got, um, just general information about it. Whereas the other one had general information, upright and, and reverse meanings. This one, not so much. Um, so a little less chunky than the other one, I would say, as I try to struggle to get these cards out. I do love the backings though. Very, very cool backings. Get the, ah, ring light. Ah. Very, very cool. I love this little fairy door here. And again, the art is beautiful. One thing I really like about this particular deck is I feel like it's, um, you know, it's all the seasons. Like this is a very wintry type picture. This one is kind of, I don't know, wintry, spring-like. This is very fall. You've got like all the seasons in here, which I think is really, really cool. You've got dark and shadow as well. This one's more like a Christmas type image. Do you have some mail in here as well? Again, it's more feminine though. This is very, makes me very think Lord of the Rings, Arwen. Very beautiful. So a beautiful, stunning deck as well to work with um, for fae type energy. Um, the next one I have is, it's not like titled a fairy deck, but it does have fairy energy to it. And it is very, you know, sort of fantasy oriented, and it does have a lot of fairy type images in it. And that is the Messenger Oracle by Raven Felon. I am using this as my Oracle deck for the month of April. Um, so again, it's got, it's a, this is, is this Blue Angel? Yes, it's Blue Angel. Although the box is like a little smaller than your average sort of Blue Angel one. Not that that matters. The book is not very thick. Um, it's just got like the thumbnail and a bit of a meaning, but it does its job. So, you know, I can't, I cannot complain about that. The box is nice and sturdy. We love that. I love the backings too. This simple green with the pentacle is very, very nice. Um, and so we have here, 
I mean, there are a lot of dragons in this deck, I have to say, just first of all, as a side note. Um, but it does have a very fae type energy to it. Like that image there is very, very pagan, very fae. There are actual images of fairies in here. There's some angel images too. But it has like a fantasy nature type energy to it. So this deck is a little hard to place, but for me, it just, I don't know, it just has like a very fae type vibe to it. Um, I'm just going through here because I do know that there is, there are fairies in this deck. There's a little rabbit fairy in here. It's so cute. I love that. And we've got this here. So it just, it just has like that fantasy fae type vibe to it. I love the fox in this one. And then you've got a green man. Here's one of the fairies beautiful so you know it's not directly a fairy deck but I do feel like it has very strong fairy type vibes to it which I really really love and then last but not least I have the shadowscapes uh, tarot again this is not marketed as a fairy deck however I do feel like it has a lot of fairy type vibes to it there's something that's very ethereal about it got here like this here there's something sort of, um, it's got like a magical kind of energy to it. I don't know if there's any actual fairies in here. But it's got that sort of nature spirit type vibe to it. There's a little bit of angelic energy there. That's very fantasy, very fairy. The Empress too. It's beautiful. So I do find this has like a fae type vibe to it, even if it's not directly about fairy energy. It's sort of got that magical, it's got unicorns and dragons and it's got, um, you know, it's got like animals and, and these beings sort of riding animals and it's got plants morphing into something else. So it does have that magical kind of fae like mysterious otherworldly type vibe to it, which I really, really love. And that's also, I think, to the watercolor really makes you feel that loose kind of vibe to it as well. So I really do like working with this particular deck as well. So I hope that um, you've enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite fairy type decks to work with are, if you do work with them at all, which ones do you vibe with, which ones do you not vibe with. Let me know, I would love to hear that. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're interested in going over to my Patreon, which just helps support me, I do have taroscopes, weekly taroscopes over there, only a buck. And um, I also have, um, we're working on um, spell casting in witch school. We're working with the god Hermes slash Mercury um, for the month of April as well, working on our communication. So if you want to join us over at the coven over there, that would be awesome and amazing. Um, and of course, if you want a reading, you can go to the Etsy shop, but you know all that stuff. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace and love and rock and roll.